Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and we're taking another look at PUBG Mobile. We are, and we are starting Season 4. Uh, season 4 is coming back with a bunch of new rewards. Lots of stuff to gather this time, including 600 UC, which can be used to get you the basic um, Elite Pass used for the following season. Again, you'll have a bunch of missions to complete in order to get the RP necessary to collect rewards. So let's jump in. Uh, as you can see, I've already been accumulating some stuff here. Um, but like I said, starting from the start, some of the things you'll look at is like a skin for the QBU, new dances, um, Umbrella skins and face, uh, extra face um, and hair designs for the character creation. Suits, new slew of uh, wintertime crates with its own rewards, should you get lucky. Uh, I have not right now, so moving on. Uh, lots of crate coupons, uh, lots of EXP and um, coin doublers. Uh, lots more skins. Stuff to keep you busy for sure. Uh, hair design. More suits, more gun skins. A new UMP gun skin. I'm looking a little bit forward to that. Nice outfit here as well. And again, all the way up to level 100, uh, getting a QBZ skin. So that'd be nice to collect as well. Uh, and they changed things up on the redeem side where you can use um, your regular currency, uh, UC to open crates. Uh, and then once you get to level 100, then you can use your extra RP for an extra bike skin and some more of the wintertime crates. And what I wanted to do with this video was to uh, accumulate some tips and just sort of try and help out um, players who, you know, just may not know or people who are starting out and want to get the most out of their season. Uh, so I've gotten five tips that I generally use on a whim whenever, uh, whenever the missions need it. So I figured I'd uh, make this video and share them along and try and hopefully get uh, everyone who's leveling up to the Royal Pass Elite, get them to as close to 100, level 100, if not at level 100 and past. So with that all said, let's begin. Tip number one, although it may seem simple enough, have friends. Have friends to play with. Um, you'll get missions where you'll need to either play with friends or pick up fallen enemies if they've been downed in team or duo matches. And friends are good for sort of keeping an eye out on things. If you're looking for particular weapons or equipment uh, and don't have the time to locate everything in Pachinki, for example, they're a good set, another set of eyes, or in the case of team matches, three sets of eyes. So, you know, help each other out they'll help you with your missions, you can help out them with their missions. It's always good to have a crew at your back. Tip number two, know your arsenal. Uh, you'll be getting missions where you need to make certain kills with particular guns. Uh, do you know what an S686 is? Because it's this guy right here. Uh, sometimes you'll be getting a mission where you need to get a dual barrel shotgun and make five kills with it so better off to know what you're going to get before you hit the battlefield rather than trying to scramble to see what the difference is between an m16 or an m416 tip number three don't forget your dailies um, when you log in every day you are given an automatic 10 points and after 
several weeks, those accumulate. So log in every day, collect your 10 points at least, and then you're also given a daily mission that needs to be completed within the next 72 hours. So you see this up on my screen, I have to kill two enemies with the Scar L. So knowing what my gun loadout needs to be, we pick up a Scar L, either an Orangle or Miramar, because Zanhawk won't have them, and just make two kills with it. Tip number four, missions don't stack. And this is important to know if you don't finish off any particular missions in the early weeks and are starting to get on to the later weeks. So say for example, that top mission I have where kill three enemies with an M24 sniper rifle in any mode. Well, I have zero out of three for that one right now because I just haven't been lucky to pick up an M24. Um, but say in week four, if I get the same mission, kill three enemies with an M24, I do not have to kill six enemies, I just still have to kill three. Because even if I don't start this mission before week four, the fact that I have it twice means I don't have to do it twice over in order to complete both, uh, which is great. Um, missions where you're, you'll get kill three enemies with a grenade. Uh, those are particularly annoying because sometimes it's hard to get a grenade kill. But hey, if you got three of the same and they, and you haven't made any progress with the earlier ones, fear not because you can sort of knock them all off, two birds with one stone style, um, should the same mission pop up in a later week. And tip number five, probably one of the more important ones that I find, is that regions, game types, or ladder tiers do not matter for RP missions whatsoever. So let's say if I'm in North America and I'm ranking up and I'm getting into tiers that are like gold and platinum where games are a little bit harder because I'm fighting more people. Um, say if I get a RP mission for a kill 20 enemies on military base, but what if I knock it to, say, South America or Europe, where I haven't ranked up at all, so I'm still at those bronze tiers. And maybe I'm going to be fighting a lot of bots, but hey, this is for missions, and why should I care? Or why should even the bots care if I'm just killing them for missions? Uh, so I'll hit, like, say, Europe in Wrangle and hit the military base and kill off a couple of bots her game in military base just so I can clear off the mission. Again, using the example of the kill three enemies in the M24 in any mode, um, I don't need to necessarily kill enemies with an M24 in classic. I can go into an arcade sniper training mode and kill three enemies with an M24 there. Uh, and hey, if I get another mission where I need to complete X amount of games in arcade, then again, I'm sort of knocking off two birds with one stone. Um, I'm killing certain enemies, or I'm killing enemies with a certain gun type, as well as completing games within arcade mode. So both will be get accumulated to my mission tallies when the game is finished. So there you go, guys. That's uh, five hopefully useful tips for you when going through Royal Pass Season 4. Um, let me know what you think in the comments, if they help you at all, or if you have any other tips that you want to share. Um, maybe I'll add them in a future video. We'll probably hit a game or two uh, just to sort of go through some of the missions, uh, give you an idea of um, what I go, what I look for when entering a game, and try and set myself up to see what I need to do in order to accomplish and see what I need to pick up as far as guns or other equipment um, and just sort of maximize what my to-do list in order to get missions is so let's have a laugh or two and get some missions done okay so some time has passed since I recorded the first segment um, I did that because I wanted to reset the mission crate here um, as you can see on the left hand side mission crate one of ten so i've already completed a mission 
for the crate and I didn't even know it but if you get 10 missions completed in a week uh, you get the mission crate that'll open up and it will give you a 200 RP coupon to be used in this season so essentially two free levels so if you're doing your dailies and a couple other missions throughout the week you're golden so speaking of golden reach gold tier or above that's the one I've just accumulated another rank for me another reward for me so let's go and get this box and see if we'd be lucky enough to get anything of use and the answer is no so moving on Um, but we still got our two Scar L kills, so we'll probably hit Miramar for that. And then let's just take a look at the challenge missions for the rest of the week. Kill three enemies with a vehicle, so run three people over. Angled four grips in 20 matches, so 20 matches, pick up an angled four grip whether you need it or not. S or above in any mode five times. Doesn't sound too bad. Uh, level 3 helmet in 10 matches. Most of these you'll just accumulate as you play regularly, so no need to worry about anything. Uh, it's a good thing they specified uh, land on top of any building in Quarry three times, Sandhawk. Uh, Quarry is also available in Erangel, and I had confusion when they had stated the same mission in Season 3, so it's a good thing that they actually say Sandhawk for that one. Um, but yeah, pretty much and kill three enemies with a QBU in any mode, so yeah, that's a Sandhawk only level, only mission. 20 enemies with an M416, so if I'm not picking up the Scar, then I should be picking up the M4. Uh, finishing top three with friends in classic mode. Alright, yeah, doesn't sound too bad for week two, so... Like I said, we'll hop into a quick mission in Miramar and... Uh, see if we can get any of these well we'll see if we get the daily knocked off for sure but start accumulating for the rest of these all right we're out of the plane we're dropping trying to reach Shamasera um, I don't know if I'm doing enough Good job, I'm dropping off it quick, so I'm gonna be probably getting short. Gonna be way short. Oh. oh, we're not off to a good start. <clears throat> anyway, you probably saw my last PUBG video where I was going for missions, the end of season three, uh, I card up at the top. Uh, so you'll see some of the, the stuff I had to do in order to get missions. Uh, new season, new mission, so... Let's gear up. Let's see if we can't get lucky. And Zone's already telling us, hey, you want to go all the way up there? Well, screw you, because we're not going to allow it. Pistol with an A time scope. Although they were. Can't pass up a crate if they have the stuff I need. And the answer to that is no. They do not. I'd rather pick up a vehicle from Chimacera and drive in that way rather than have to hit Picado. No Picado is on the plane path and we'll probably be pretty full of people killing each other. And not getting an awful lot of success so I should just... Find a vehicle and book it.
be a little bit of a pain. Nope, found my vehicle at least. Sure, he won't get away in that one. We gotta go, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna challenge him. Flare off to our straight ahead. But considering that we needed to get car kills, I'm wondering if we can find a couple of stragglers out in the field before I get to the zone. Well, we... There's someone. Very bot like. There's the scar we were looking for, so uh, we can get rid of that. And most of our. Well, Need more 556 five, ammo, but for now, hopefully, we can make some quick kills with it. There we go. plane but the package probably dropped well away from me okay so then other than scopes are pretty good so let's see where we can go uh, we'll go there I feel like I'm going to get it into a position that's going to hurt me rather than help me. The zone has come in to... Uh... Check this hut quickly, hopefully with some better optic options. Of course not. I'll take the frag though. So we got two people duking it out in that complex over there. Already down to the final 20, too. Hmm. Looks like El is going to have to be our... No, 
them. There's our one coat with the scar. There's a level three helmet pickup. Regardless if it's damaged or not. It's going to stop, but it's already been looted. And if anything, I'll just see if we can get eyes on the drop, so if someone needs to die from it, we can do that. Should get to the next zone too. as much 9 mil anymore. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. Some grenades smoking.
This one's going to hurt too. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to make this. Nope. Uh, well, no missions done, but eh, number six can't complain about that, so. Pending missions, yeah, so at the bottom it tells you pending missions versus completed. Still need one more kill for it, unfortunately. So we'll go back to our missions. Yeah, one out of two kills with the scar. So fortunately, still have to complete that. But I uh, got one of our kills with the um, with the car with the vehicle. Um, got one out of five times getting rank S or above, uh, and one times for level three helmet. So like I said. The more missions, or the more matches you do, the more missions you'll complete just out of doing the stuff you would normally do through a mission anyway. Like, who would who would pass up an opportunity to pick up a level 3 helmet or to kill someone with a vehicle if they had the opportunity. So, hopefully the tips and everything have helped you out. And, as always, this has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.